How would you measure a grain of wheat? It can be 0.065 gram or 17,000 pound. Or it can be the weight of life or the weight of the universe. Manna was a staple food for the Israelites in the wilderness in 40 years. Manna is commonly known as bread from heaven. People in the Middle Ages were likely to believe or imagine that God rained from heaven, literally as it was written in the Bible. The name of manna comes from the Hebrew word manhu. What is it? At God's command, the Israelites collected an omar of manna per person. An omar is equal to about 2.3 liters or 5.2 pints. It was for the use of just a single day, no more. Except for the Sabbath, people weren't able to save manna because A, it bred worms and became spoiled overnight, and B, when the sun grew hot, it melted. Manna became a representation of God's awesome care and amazing grace. It was like coriander seed white, and the taste of it was like vapors made with honey. And there are a certain kind of plants that produce a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. If the manna that you can gather or harvest is the same manna the ancient Israelites ate in the wilderness, can we continue to say that God miraculously fed the hungry Israelites in the wilderness? Is manna still a miracle? This understanding may lead to a totally new question. What makes manna, that is a fine flaky substance that melted as the sun grew hot, bread from heaven? How do we understand miracles? There is a famous saying which goes, there are only two ways to live your life, as though nothing is a miracle or as though everything is a miracle. This quote reminds us of a valuable insight into what makes a certain event or experience a miracle. Miracles do not always refer to the extraordinary. What makes something a miracle is people's faith. Even though manna was not ready-made bread from heaven, the Israelites still believed that God miraculously fed them. What is manna? Or manhu, what is it? And what is manna to us? Manna can be a cup of coffee, a bowl of soup. Manna can be a loaf of bread that we ate this morning. What is it? It is the bread that God has given you to eat. Everything can be God's miraculous gift if we are able to see them properly. A grain of rice or a grain of wheat can be seen as God's miraculous gift. A meditative Korean song, Saran Toremuge, was created by Hong Sung Gwan, who sings songs of peace and hope. This song expresses wonderfully the mystery of faith and the interdependency of the world. With this beautiful song, let us take time for meditation. How would you measure a grain of wheat? It can be 0.065 gram or 17,000 pounds or it can be the weight of life or the weight of the universe.
농부의 새벽도 그 안에 숨었네 나락한 얼 속에 우주가 들었네 버려진 사람 털 우주의 무게를 사람 털의 무게를 재여본다 세상의 노래가 그 안에 울리네 사란토의 무게는 평화의 무게 사란토의 무게는 농부의 무게 사란토의 무게는 세월의 무게 사란토의 무게는 생명의 무게 사란토의 무게는 평화의 무게 사람 돌의 무게 농부의 무게 사람 돌의 무게 세월의 무게 사람 돌의 무게 생명의 무게 사람 돌의 무게 평화의 무게 사람 돌의 그 안에 쓰면 